Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Pickle Cheese, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a FNAF avatar for VRChat. And all you're going to need is Blender 2.9 and the Source IO add-on, which I will send a link in the description. When you have that, you just press install, and then it will open up your files, and you just scroll down to the zip folder that says source.io, and then just click it and then it'll automatically put it in. So then what you want to do also is go to file into import and then source engine assets and go to MDL and then go to wherever your exported zip file is for the SFM models which I'll also link the I'll link the website to download them too. So we'll go to F4. Let's do this one. Why not? That one's not made. We'll do one when I find one. <laughs> so like Spring Body. You just gotta wait for it to load in. All right, and I'm just gonna do a bare bone how to do. I'm not gonna show you how to do all of this stuff because really it's just, I'm gonna teach you how to do the, the things that you need and you can just repeat that for everything. So first, let's get rid of these two meshes that are colliding. They're not gonna always be like this. Some avatar or some models will. So let's get rid of all the withered parts can just work on the unwithered. Alright, so now we got the withered parts removed, we have unwithered. Let's check, so you can open up this right here, and you can check the stats, and it is 191,000 volleys. And without any of these, it's probably not any different. The endos usually take up the most but I would recommend decimating as much as you can. So what you want to do first is click on the first mesh. I'd say go down the list and go from top to bottom instead of just clicking on the ones you want. So let's go to the head and add a decimate. And let's see like what 0.5 looks like. All right, not, not the greatest, but probably better. You want to press tab and have it all highlighted. Go to Mesh, Clean Up, Merge by Distance. And it combines all the vertices. You know, it looks about the same, but what this does, it makes so that there's not going to be any rips and tears in the mesh. So, like, let's do an example. And I also recommend to not apply these until you're absolutely sure that's what you want. So let's do like 0.25. All right. So as an example, we have some tears. It won't completely fix the issue, but it will. And look at that. Actually made it a lot better. So you can also press this TV to turn it off. As you can see, it doesn't. It's a pretty big change, but I'd say it's unnoticeable, and it saves you about a thousand polys. All right, so you want to do that for every single mesh. So again, go to like the ears on this section, decimate to like 0.25 since these are almost 10,000. Okay, go to edit mode, pressing tab, make sure all this is highlighted. Mesh, clean up, run by distance. Look at that. That already looks way better. And it's 2,400. So we knocked it down from 190,000 to 179. So that's already pretty good. So now that I showed you how to decimate, you just want to apply that for every single one. It is going to be a hassle, especially for SFM models, but you're just going to have to deal with it. Now for the rigs, the rigs are always kind of messed up. So like I said, this is where the neck is. Uh, I wouldn't think you want it all the way down there. 
really the neck doesn't matter too much for VR chat, but I'd say bring it to like right, maybe like right in the middle or like right down here. Bring it up a little further. If it's if it's down where the chest is, bring it up more. So like if we go to pose mode, you know, again, it's not great, but the neck doesn't really move too much. It's all about the head. So the head seems fine. Make sure the rig is good. Assuming this is a mask, yeah. Wow, a mask one with the ears going up. Okay, so that's not a bad, not a bad model. Um, and okay, here's a, our very first issue. The spine and the pelvis is way too far. You want the pelvis to be above your legs or it will not really move too well in VR chip. First, let's move our chest just like maybe up here. And let's move the pelvis like right in between here. Then what you want to do is click this part of the pelvis and press E to extrude. And you can press control to snap the movements like we do like right here. Then go to press Z, go to wireframe so you can click this. And let's move it up. Kind of maybe like right here. And again, you know, I could be doing it completely wrong. All right, we got to parent them. So when you're in edit mode for the rig, press this one. The So you want to click the, which could be your chest bone. Hold shift. Click what's going to be your spine. Right click. Parent. Make. Keep offset. So now, these move. Now again, since it's SFM, this is gonna happen. Not too much you can do, but this is the chest bone. So when you use a model, the chest bone isn't the one that's gonna move uh, either a ton or at all. Uh, the spine is where it matters. So as you can see, it's just moving that, not really out of good access. But again, not too much you can do. If you really want, like we could try moving this down. And again, it's all up to your personal preference. So now we do it again. See, look, that, that rotates a lot better. But you do want the pelvis above the legs. So this is probably as far as you're gonna get. Now, what we need to do is go back into edit mode, click the tail of this, and extrude to about right there. And if you wanna to go to wireframe, I always do it so it hits the ball joint in here. So then you wanna do the same thing, click this bone, hold shift, click that bone, parent, keep offset. So now it moves, and if you want to just check, do the same thing, click this, hold shift, click the chest, parent, make, and if it doesn't say keep offset, it is already parented to the chest. Do it again right here, E, control, tool right there, parent, keep offset, and let's check again, parent, we're all good. So now, these move, these move, it has your spine bone, your chest bone. If you want to remember where, what is which when you go into Unity, you can go into edit mode, this little bone, and then click, so this could be our spine, so we'll rename it spine, click this, rename it chest. I never really rename them, but it's all pre personal preference. Shoulder. Shoulder. And then everything else should be named correctly. The things a lot of times that do not import is the chest bone and the shoulders if they're not named properly. So we'll go into UD and we will show you how to do that. But 
before we do that. So let's just say you have it all decimated and you want to export. So make sure we have our modifiers applied. So we go here, control A, or you can open that and press apply, but control A is way faster. All right, and never apply armature if you apply armature that means this will not the object without the armature modifier will not move as example so i apply that go to pose mode and this ear part does not move the endo does because it has the armature modifier on it but and also you can control z back so what you want to do press actually before we do anything, make sure it is all one object. So that means, so you do A and you can do control. So let's do control or shift A, sorry. Shift A, and not shift A, sorry. Shift click. Shift A does this. Uh, so if you do, if you press A and then shift click and you have this yellow, then you can do Control J, or you can right click and then click join. And now it's all one object. So that means in VR chat, it won't boost up your, your performance issue. It won't make it a lot, of it won't give it a lot of issues. But if you want to, let's say, make a suit toggle, which a lot of people do, what you would need to do, let's back up, is so for here it's already pre-made for us so we would select the suits control j and if we hide that there's our endo and of course you might need to like fix it more so like no add the teeth add the bow tie at the buttons and yeah and then you have this part so if it's all hidden it's not going to join so you can do this control a not, not control a, a and then join it oh yeah and if, it, if you don't do shift a and at least have one part of it yellow it will not work so now oh yeah uh, and then all h is to unhide Let's not do that. So let's get rid of all the wither parts. Let's just hide that. So now you have, so you have two meshes right here. So this could be, I can just name it suit endo. So if you take out the suit, there's the endo. If you take out the endo, it's just an empty suit. So then what you want to do is let's just get rid of these camera and lights because in Unity, it won't like them. So make sure you don't have any cameras or any lights in the, in the scene. Press A to select all, file, export, FBX. And then we will put it in a folder. So here you just name it Bonnie then before you do any of that you can just get rid of the leaf bones but if you want these to jiggle we'll keep the leaf bones on all it's gonna do is it's gonna add one extra bone on every end bone so that's gonna be an extra bone on the ears an extra bone on every fingertip an extra bone on the feet one thing I forgot to mention is to get the textures, so going in material mode, to get these, which it won't look this shiny in Unity, uh, you want to click this corner, or you can click here. Go to image editor, and then click this button, and it'll have every single texture. Now on this one, there is a, a ton, but I'm just going to show you how to do one right now and you can just do the rest on your own. So we'll get, you know, SB1, which is this texture. Press image. 
save as and then in the same folder uh, as the uh, model at least to keep it organized just save as the image and then once we go there if I can go find it characters F4 spring animatronics and there it is. So just do that for every single one of these. And then you'll be able to port uh, everything into um, into Unity. An easier way to have all the textures loaded in automatically is if you export this out as an FBX into a folder, let's say. Let's see if we can call this one Bonnie. We'll move the FBX in there and the textures. So if the FBX and all the textures are in the same folder and you import that folder into Unity, it should automatically load all of these textures into it so you don't have to do it yourself.